Hello friends, welcome back to Mini Violin Lessons with Dr. Wright. Today we are going to learn Lightly Row. So there are a few things that you should know before we start Lightly Row. One is that you should know the difference between a quarter note and a half note. Two, you should know that we play the E string but there are no fingers on the E string. Three, you should know the difference between an A major scale and an A arpeggio. So without further ado, let's get started. A quarter note has one beat and a half note gets two beats. For a more in-depth lesson between a quarter note and a half note, please check out my reel on my Instagram or please check out my YouTube short on my YouTube channel. Here is a little brief synopsis of the difference between a quarter note and a half note. So if a quarter note gets one beat and a half note gets two beat, that means every time you hear a half note, you should hear or count. two beats within the half note. And with the quarter note, you only need to hear one beat. A quarter note looks like this, while a half note looks like this. Let's go over the first line in Lightly Row, and we will clap out the rhythm. The click you hear in the background is a metronome, and it will help us keep Ready, our rhythm. Ready, begin. Hold. clapping out the rhythm and saying the fingerings. I'll include the fingerings here. Ready, begin. E, two, two, three, one, one, A, one, two, three, E, 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 two, 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 three, one, Now you will see when there was a half note in the piece, I held the half note for two beats. And when there was a quarter note in the piece, I only held it for one beat. Now let's go on to play with the fingers. When we're playing with fingers in this piece, it's important to know the difference between an A major scale and an A arpeggio because both are included in Lightly Row. An A major scale is a sequence of notes that move up by step in the key of A major. And when you play an arpeggio, you only play three notes of the scale. So that means you end up playing one, three, and five. Let's start lightly row and we'll play it very slowly. With my students, I ask them to set up their second finger and to make a tunnel as they set up their second finger so that they're not touching the E string or else you're gonna hear a squeak or not the E. Instead, you'll hear a kind of this sound when you really wanna hear E. So you make a tunnel with your second finger, but you also wanna prepare your second finger ahead of time. The P starts on open E. Roll our elbow to the A strings and keep our elbow on the A string. Don't let it drop because we don't want to hear the E string. Place our third finger down. Then lift up three and two. And hold one because it's a half note. Open A. One, two, three. Open E. because it's a half note. Repeat E, two, three. 
Place your third finger down. Lift up two and three. Keep one down. Open A. Two. Open E. Roll to A. Play your second finger once more. Hold, hold. Our third line is much different than line one and two. One and two are very similar, right? Let's start with the third line. Place your first finger on the A string. Repeat. Repeat your one. Repeat your one. Repeat the one. Second finger. Place your third finger down. Lift up your third finger and play two. Place your third finger down. Roll to E and hold it because it's a half note. Lines two and four are the exact same. So you're really only learning three lines of music. Hooray! So let's play line four. Place your third finger down. A arpeggio. Roll to E. Roll back to A, keeping your second finger down. Now let's try it without me saying anything. Be sure to listen for the introduction. Ready? Play! Great job, friends. I look forward to seeing you for another mini violin lesson with Dr. Wright. Bye.